We started a new standard on coordinate geometry, and in this video, we're going to be finding the perimeter of shapes on a coordinate plane. So what is perimeter? Perimeter, perimeter is the total distance around a two-dimensional shape. You probably already know that. So in this example, we're going to find the perimeter of the following shape. So to find the perimeter, all you do is add all the side lengths that it gives you. So you add 3 centimeters plus 6 centimeters plus 3 centimeters plus 6 centimeters, and that's going to equal 18 centimeters. So that's how you'd find the perimeter of that shape. What if we want to find the perimeter of this shape, but we don't know the side lengths? It doesn't give us that. So you're going to have to use your knowledge that I showed you in a previous video of how to find the side length of a horizontal and vertical line, and then you would add all those together. So this side length would be 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. And this side length would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And this side length is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4. And this side length is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So to get the perimeter, you do 4 plus 5 plus 4 plus 5. That is going to equal 18 units. Okay, so that's how you do that. All right, what if we try something a little bit harder? We don't have horizontal and vertical lines here, so we're going to have to create our right triangles and use the Pythagorean theorem to find the side lengths of each of these sides. So I'm going to start here. And so to find this side length, I'm going to be doing 1 squared plus 2 squared. And I'm going to label these sides so that way it'd be easier. That will equal a squared. Okay. And then we have this side, so it's going to be 2 squared plus 2 squared equals b squared. And then we have this one, 1 squared plus 2 squared equals d squared. And then we have this one, 3 squared plus 3 squared equals e squared. And then you use the Pythagorean theorem and find all of those side lengths. So 1 squared plus 2 squared equals 5. So a is going to equal the square root of 5. B is going to be 2 squared plus 2 squared, which is equal to 8, so the square root of 8. And then D is going to be the same as A, square root of 5. And then E is going to equal 3 squared plus 3 squared, which is equal to the square... 18, so we're going to do the square root of 18, and we're going to add all those together. So in my calculator, I'm going to put this into my calculator. And the square root of 5 plus the square root of 8 plus the square root of 5 plus the square root of 18. And I got 11. I'm going to round to the tenths place, one decimal place. So 11.5, and I don't have a unit here, so I'm just going to write units. 
So that is how we would find the perimeter of that shape. It's a little bit harder. Um, it's harder to be exact here. We have to approximate um, by creating right triangles so we can find each side length and then we're going to add all the side lengths together.